Today, I'm going to test the Audio-Technica 4053B against the Rode NT5 in an indoor talking head setting. That would be great for interviews or corporate profiles or other planned indoor shoots. In the past, I've relied heavily on my Sony Lives and used my favorite, my all-time favorite, the Rode NTG3 as my backup audio source, which is what you're hearing me on now. And honestly, that combination has worked out really well for me. I tend to prefer this sound because it's what I'm used to hearing in documentaries or reality TV shows. The more I learn about filmmaking, the more I want to improve my overall production value. And the more I heard about how shotguns should not be used indoors, the more I wanted to work on that. So I went ahead and I pulled the trigger and I bought the Rode NT5. I've used the Rode NT5 on a variety of personal projects and paid projects with what I would call mixed results. Now, to be fair to the Rode NT5, I'm not an audio engineer. So the mixed results could really be caused by my lack of experience or a learning curve with that type of microphone. What I found was that the smaller the room, the bigger the problems with the Rode NT5. And then I saw a video from Ray Ortega <laughs> where he talked about the Audio-Technica 4053B, which you could check out at the link here. And make sure you check out Ray's channel because he has a lot of useful information. I posted a comment on Ray's YouTube page on that video for the Audio-Technica 4053B, where Mike Phillips replied with something that resonated with me. The best microphone is the one that gets you the results that you want. So I bought the Audio-Technica 4053B and I want to see if it gives me that extra production value that I want without all of the heartaches or the challenges of the Rode NT5. Let's switch over to the Rode NT5 to see what that sounds like. The Rode NT5 is a cardioid studio condenser, which I now understand is best used for instruments rather than dialogue. The polar pattern is supposed to do a good job at minimizing off-axis sound due to room ambiance. So judge for yourself as you hear what my studio sounds like. In my opinion, the Rode NT5 does a good job in large rooms with carpeted floors, but I'm not so sure that it does a better job than my shotgun live combination. Now let's switch over to the Audio-Technica 4053B and see what that sounds like. I'm not monitoring other than from time to time looking at the audio meters, so we'll see how this turns out in post. The microphone is just out of frame at about 17 inches from my mouth. I use this Bosch laser measuring tool when I set up my shoots to help me dial in the focus on my lenses. I'm also being opportunistic with this shoot because I'm shooting with my Sony a7S in 4K using the S-Log picture profile and capturing on 4K on my Atomo Shogun. My scratch audio is being captured in camera on the Sony a7S with the Rode VideoMic Pro. The Zoom H6 is capturing the audio that we're going to be using on this project. I didn't want to experiment with the Shogun's audio on this project because I'm really not sure if there is a learning curve. If you're interested in audio from the Shogun, you should check out Curtis Judd's video. You can check it out in the link here. Curtis goes over the preamps on the Shogun and does a great job of explaining and testing it out against his Tascam external recorder. Now let's go find ourselves a trouble spot and test out these two microphones. I shot the responsive web design project in this office, which by the way, you can check out the video here. This particular office gave the Rode NT5 some major challenges that if I didn't have a secondary audio solution running, would have added a whole lot of hours to my production. So you're listening to me on the Rode NT5, right? Now, I'm interested to know if you guys are just as annoyed as I am with the performance in this room. Now, to be fair to the Rode NT5, this is a small office with plenty of reflective surfaces. I find that when I'm on location shooting corporate profiles or interviews, I always end up in the back of the office somewhere or in a small office or small room. It's probably because it takes me away from the day-to-day -day or, or the daily business activities. So having a reliable indoor audio capture solution that doesn't add a whole lot of work for me in post 
is really important to me. Now, let's switch back to the Audio-Technica 4053B and see how that works out. Now again, just to be clear, I'm viewing this as a microphone audition because I'm not monitoring, so I have no way of knowing if this sound is going to actually be better than the Rode NT5. I'm going to focus on intelligibility because that is the most important part when you're capturing dialogue. I'm also going to evaluate the noise floor. I want to see how much room tone or room ambiance it picks up and how much reverb it picks up. Now, I do understand that sound is subjective, so if you have a preference of one over the other, leave me a comment, because feedback is appreciated. I'm going to be grading this video in DaVinci Resolve 11. The B-roll for this video was captured with my Blackmagic production 4K camera in Cinema DNG RAW. I really hope that you guys find this information helpful, and hopefully you can save some time in evaluating microphones and maybe even save some cash in the process. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Until next time, I'm Carlos Quintero from Media on Q, helping you compete in today's web economy. Thanks for watching.